Hey guys, you're watching Poker News. I'm Lynn Gilmartin at the 2010 Aussie Millions and we have two more champions. Thanks to yesterday, we had the 1650 No Limit Hold'em Bounty event continuing on from Wednesday and the horse event which played down to a final winner. Now we got to the final table of the bounty event at about 7pm with quite a few familiar faces. We had Grant Levy who came into the final table as the second shortest stack but he did double up in the very first hand of that final table. That was thanks to Jonathan Karamalakis, the then chip leader. That saw Grant Levy last for a little longer, but then eventually bust in fifth place, taking $32,000. David Starkey made his second final table appearance for this week after coming fourth in the Limit Hold'em event, and he repeated that again in this event, taking fourth place for $42,000. Now Jonathan Karamalakis, who is best known for his online success under the name of Monster Dong, was responsible for that elimination also, which then eventually led to him taking the title for his very first major live win, pocketing himself 122,000 Aussie dollars. Feels great. It feels uh, nice to finally win Aussie Millions, start off the last year especially. Mm -hmm. Getting seconds with a 7 to 1 chip lead, there's nothing worse. Yeah. Nothing worse. Now while that final table was playing out, so too was the horse, and on that final table we also had a repeated appearance from online player Oliver Gill. He came fourth in the 1100 PLO event earlier in the week and just like Starkey repeated that fourth place finish in this event taking nine and a half thousand Aussie dollars. Also on that final table was online pro and 2008 WSOP Omaha High Low Split bracelet winner Andrew Brown. He took fifth place for 7.7 thousand but it was Ravi Matuk who overcame the field of 91 players successfully proving his skills as an all-rounder winning 27 thousand Aussie dollars. Congratulations, Ravi. Now, as for today, event number seven, the No Limit Hold'em with Rebuys event has kicked off and players have until the end of the second level to make as many rebuys as they want. Now, walking around the field looks like it is a good one. Let's go and take a look. We've got German Team Poker Stars Pro Florian Lehmann, this week's Aussie Millions Poker Pro Champion Andrew Hinrichsen, and across from him on that table is Daniel Nielsen. Table 27 has Jason Gray in seat number one with last year's main event champion Stuart Scott in seat four. The table 29 is the one to watch. Take a look at this. Seat number one, we've got Shane Warne. Across from him is Annette Oberstad. We've got Bruno Pitaro, reigning champion of this event, Mark Cassis, Gary Benson, Emmanuel Seal, and to round off in seat number 10, Billy the Croc. Up the back is another good one to watch with Julius Coleman and Ryan Nathan seated together as well as Tony Dunst and Neil Channing to his left. The feature table has started off with online pro Jay Kincaid in seat 2 and WSOP champion Joe Hashem in seat 10. Also in the field is Lee Nelson, Barney Boatman, last night's bounty event champion Monster Dong, Ben Delaney. And lastly on table 19, right behind me in the red is Jeff Fennick. Make sure you stay tuned to Poker News for all of the updates here from the 2010 Aussie Millions. I'm Lynn Gilmartin for PokerNews.com.